Hello and welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Abigail R. Karmali bringing to you the Salesian news across the globe. The ECOSOC Youth Forum, held annually by the United Nations, is an event that gathers young people from all over the world to discuss and propose solutions to the most pressing issues of our time. This year, the Salesian family was represented by two young ladies, Victoria Figueroa from St. Dominic Savio and Jennifer Gomez from the Salesian Family Youth Centre, who were accompanied by J.C. Montenegro, the Executive Director at the SFYC, and invited by Father Thomas Palithanum, SDB, the Salesian Missions representative. As Salesians, we are committed to empowering young people and promoting social transformation. The ECOSOC Youth Forum aligns with our mission and provides an opportunity to share our solution approach to youth ministry, which emphasizes the importance of working with youth and not just for them, and fostering their leadership skills and agency. At the forum, our solution representatives had the chance to share some of their initiatives and best practices in providing quality education, vocational training, and socio-economic opportunities to marginalize youth in Los Angeles. They were also able to learn from other organizations and initiatives and exchange ideas, best practices and recommendations on how to address some of the most pressing issues facing our communities. Director Major Father Angel Fernandez Artimi begins his visit to the Canary Islands on May 2nd. It is an institutional visit as part of the celebrations for the 75th anniversary of the Salesians in La Orotava and the centenary of the Salesians in Las Palmas. That will allow the Congregation's Superior General to get a closer look at Salesian work in the islands of Tenerife and Grand Canaria. During his trip, he will meet with Salesian members of the Salesian family, educators, youth, church and civil authorities. The May 2nd program began at 9.30 a.m. local time with his arrival in Tenerife, Norte, where he was welcomed by more than 100 Salesian students from the island school. After the welcome, he went to La Cuesta House, where he greeted the Salesian community. Then at 11.30 a.m., there was a meeting with the youth in the schoolyard, followed by singing, dancing and words of thanksgiving. Following the photo session with the students at 1 p.m., there was a blessing of a commemorative azulejo, a Portuguese and Spanish ornamental art form of glaze ceramic tiles, and a meeting with the Bishop of the Diocese of Nivar, Bishop Bernardo Alvarez Alonso, and the Mayor of La Laguna, Honorable Luis Yerai Perez. In the afternoon, starting at 5.15 p.m., there was a time for a dialogue between the educational pastoral community of La Cuesta and the Rector Major, concluding the day with the Eucharist at the Parish Church of Our Lady of Candelaria at 7 p.m. The May 3rd program will begin at 9 a.m. in Taco with a visit to the headquarters of Fundación Don Bosco, Salesianos Social, to learn about the residential care, social educational, and social work placement projects that the Salesian Foundation carries out for and with address youth. The Rector Major will be conversing with the technical teams and the young people who participate in the projects. Finally, it will be the turn of the Salesians of La Orotava with whom he will share one of the main events of their anniversary. From 11.30 a.m., there will be a festive gathering to recreate Don Bosco's oratorian style and to thank Don Bosco's 10th successor for his visit. After a photo session with the pupils and a tour to learn about the work at 12.30 p.m., there will be a visit to City Hall at 1.15 p.m. with a greeting from the mayor of Villa de la Orotava, Francisco Linares Garcia. In the afternoon, there will be a meeting of the entire educational pastoral community and Salesian family, which will conclude with the blessing of another commemorative Azulejo and the Eucharist of renewal of the Salesian commitment, a project with deep roots centered on the work of social and educational promotion of the inhabitants of at-risk areas, a mission that remains intact to this day and is built on devotion to Mary Help of Christians. 
The Institute of Salesian History, ISS Rome, organized a presentation of the book by Professor Thomas Anshu Kandam, SDB, titled Theological Formation of Salesians in India, with special reference to Christu Jyoti College, Bangalore, 1967 to 1976, LAS 2022, in the Sala Huand Vecchi Pontifical Salesian University, UPS Rome, at 3 p.m. on 21st April 2023. The event was moderated by Professor Henry Silveraj Dominic, SDB. It was followed by the presentation of the well-thought-out themes for the day that were developed by the four resource persons chosen for their association with Christu Joiti College and for their academic competence. Professor Shaji Joseph Puykanil, SDB, Director of the Institute of Spiritual Theology, enlightened the audience on the topic Socio Political and Religious Context of Northeast India at the time of the arrival of the First Salesian Missionaries. He argued, basing himself on the statistical report of the Salesian Mission in the region, that the missionaries transformed the various challenges of the difficult mission into opportunities for the growth of the Church. He attributed the success of Salesians in the mission to the strategy of the religious leader, Monsignor Louis Matthias, SDB, to have the formation of personnel in loco. The second presentation, Salesian congregation in the immediate post-World War II, the Vatican and the post-Vatican periods was brilliantly summarized by Professor Michael Vojtas, SDB, the author of the book Reviving Don Bosco's Oratory and Salesian Pedagogy after Don Bosco, from the first generation to up to the Synod on Young People, 1888 to 2018. He noted that Father Renato Zigotti's term of office as Rector Major was characterized by his travels and the growing worldwide sense of the Slesian charism and the 19th General Chapter of the Slesian Congregation that introduced six new sectors into the traditional Slesian apostolate, viz. the parish, adult, catechesis, family apostolate, formation of lay teachers, ministry to workers and social communication. The third resource person, Professor Ivo Silho, SDB, the General Counselor for Formation of the Salesian Congregation, dwelt on the theme, the Salesian Formation in Mission. He paid special attention to Section 2 of Chapter 4 of the book, Social Involvement and Contribution to Nation Building, as it interested him due to his own personal association with KJC as a student of Theology 1984-1988. He recalled the narration from the fourth chapter of the book with the subtitles The Social Service Guilt, The Freedom at Midnight and the Influence of Liberation Theology as well as a special general chapter to drive home the point that the theology in KJC did not remain confined to the pages of the books or within the walls of the classroom but that it flowed into the life and that life flowed back into theology. Professor Joe's Kuthani Mathikal, SDB, member of the Formation Department of the Salesians of Don Bosco, Rome, presented on the last theme, preferential love for and commitment to the poor at the very heart of the Salesian Formation. The resource person to find that, that the methodology of the Salesian Formation is a liberative dialogical discernment and spiral methodology. The first Salesians had arrived in Papua New Guinea on June 14, 1980. The presence of Father Valeriano Barbero, Father Rolando Fernandez and Father Joseph Kramar in Araimiri, Gulf Province, was the start of the Salesian mission in this part of the world 43 years ago. In 1994, this presence became the provincial delegation of PNG under the STP Philippines North Province FIN. For Solomon Islands, the province of Japan was given the responsibility to make this happen. On October 27, 1995, Father Pedro Balcazar and Brother Francis Tanaka set foot in the country. They were the first relations to be sent there. Father Pedro Nishizawa, Father Ambrose Pereira and Father Luciano Capelli, now Bishop of Gizo, joined later. Their first assignment was the Parish of Christ the King in Tetere. On April 1, 2005, the provincial delegation of PNGSI was established and after 10 years, on December 23, 2015, the Rector Major of the Salesians of Don Bosco, Father Angel Fernandez Artime, established the Salesian presences in the two nations to be a vice province, PGS. Father Pedro Baquero, now Bishop of Kerema, was appointed the first provincial superior. 
Over the years, the PGS Vice Province has grown in strength in terms of institutions and number of Salishian priests, brothers coming from PNG, SI and other 14 countries, Salishian cooperators, volunteers, members of the Salishian family and countless young people who found help in the mission of Don Bosco. Today, countless men and women Bosquinians, many are active members of the Don Bosco Past People's Association, contribute to nation building and to the economy of the two countries with the skills, knowledge and guidance they have received from Don Bosco's educational system. On Tuesday, April 25th, at the parish of Nuestra Sura del Carmen in Santa Clara, Cuba, adolescents and young people belonging to youth groups met with the Salishian cooperators who accompany and encourage them with the counsellor for the Regent Inter-American Father Hugo Orozco. During his visit, Father Hugo conveyed to them the greetings of Rector Major and congratulated and encouraged them to live their experience as a group of young people, motivating them to be good Christians, upright citizens. Father Hugo Orozco arrived in the Antilles on February 24 and will end his extraordinary visit on May 17, 2023. So, we wish with that we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.